Hey everyone and welcome back to another uh, live stream from the floor of the Sydney Summit here in Sydney in the ICC venue. Uh, my name is Peter Stansky, uh, also Dr. Pete. I run a solution architecture team. I'm pleased to have a whole crew up here. I'm surprised the floor is still keeping us up. It's a one big happy family. Yeah. Uh, who have we got over here, Matt? Uh, Matt Fitzgerald, I'm a technical evangelist. Over here. Gabe Hollenby, also a tech evangelist. You've seen me already some today, so hello again. And I'm super excited to introduce our community hero in AI, Gus from Car Sales. Welcome to, uh, to the show. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do at Car Sales, and this whole community hero thing. Tell us more. Sure, sure. So uh, I actually hit, uh, had an AI team at Car Sales. So we're building a lot of like a cool AI technologies. So uh, we also productionizing them as well, and we integrate with the various product. So uh, we, our aim is actually to solve a lot of uh, business problems and also enhance consumer experience. So uh, apart from that as well, as you ask, uh, what, do I, what am I involvement in the community? Yeah. I like to raise an awareness of AI in the whole community, not just like uh, in Australia, but in the whole world if possible. Because believe it or not, many people actually believe still AI is just a password. Right. Which our experience, uh, uh, our experience tell us otherwise. Uh -huh. So actually really, really true, it solves business problem. So I want everybody to know about this. So, so I guess uh, we had dinner last night. Yep. And we discovered that we actually both used to be game developers, which is kind of freaky. And we also work for the same company, although not at the same time. And fun. we had this great conversation about how writing assembler, right, back in the you know, in, in, you know, down and dirty, no operating systems, running games, uh, actually helped you with AI and ML. Well, I'm exactly. curious. Tell me more about that. OK. So what, what I learned a lot back then, like this is like what, uh, 20 years ago, Pete? You remember? Yeah. Maybe a bit more. We're yes. showing our age. We've yes. got a few gray hairs up here. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So uh, when you uh, write a software, the first thing that you care the most is actually performance. Uh -huh. Because computers was so slow. You, you, if you're looking at your source code, you scroll them, right? Yep. Automatically, you practically can watch the source code like this, right? Nowadays, it's impossible. It's so fast. So performance is very critical. So based on that, every time I actually write a software, number one is performance is a key. And because of that, you can push the technology further. Mm -hmm. What other people can do, just like 50%, we can do a lot more because actually our code is heavily optimized. Yeah, so, 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 so car sales, well, obviously being the head of AI and ML, mm -hmm. you know, tell us a little bit about how you, what you guys are doing to change developers' lives. Uh, to change developers' lives? Yeah, yep. like in your organization, because this is, this is a really cool emerging technology yes. domain in many organizations, and you guys have been really pushing the envelope here yes. in Australia. Of course. So uh, we first we we change the consumer life first. Uh -huh. Yep. That's our, our, our start our with the customer. Yeah. Exactly. Like yes. Yeah. Exactly. And work backwards from there. Exactly. So we believe in consumer experience. We build an AI technology that actually enhance consumer experience. And one of the example is actually a tech that we call Cyclops. Yeah. It's an Cyclops, image like one eye, like the one eye yeah. monster. Yeah. yeah. Like from the Odyssey. Oh, exactly. Okay. It's an image recognition technology. Yeah. Which recognize the uh, identify a car, make model for the down to the trim level from just one photo. Awesome. And the accuracy is like a 98%, a lot better than any one of us, including so myself. So 9, 90%? 98%. 98%. Oh, 98%. 98%. Oh, wow. Yes. So, so wait, are you rotating this vehicle at all? Like, no. is it a single shot? And you, from and a you single out shot. what it looks like at the back From as a well? single shot, yes, from the back. The make and model accuracy is 98%. Wow. Yes. That's so why, we, why, why I actually, this actually enhanced consumer experience? Because we integrated with the private seller tools that we have on our iOS and uh, Android apps. Right. When you sell your car, of course, you have to identify first what car it is. You have to tell us what it is, right? Mm. So prior to Cyclops, the user has to go through like series of like steps. Each steps you have to select like hundreds of selection of like make model body. Really annoying to do on a mobile phone. So annoying yeah. with the phone, prone to error, yep. very bad consumer experience. Yep. So we integrated Cyclops. We recognize it automatically by just taking one photo. And because of that, consumer experience is, 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 is increased. At the same time, accuracy of identifying the vehicle increased by 10% too, okay. which is like a both win-win. Yeah. So this is how we change consumer life. That's impressive, yeah. 98%. Yes. So tell us a little bit more about the architecture and what it looks like. Because it's obviously built in AWS. We, uh, we built can maybe cut to some slides we've got prepared earlier. Cool. Exactly. Yeah. So if you show the... Uh, Let's go to the slides. Yep. Next one. Yep. So next one. Okay. Yep. So this so slide here. <laughs> it's an example of what Cyclops can actually answer. Pete, can you answer what car it is? Uh, I would say it might be like a Nissan or something. I would have said a Mitsubishi. Ohio Mitsubishi? Or yeah. Or something. What know. about you? Okay. Uh, yeah? I have no idea. A Honda Odyssey. Honda Odyssey. Okay. Go to the next slides. This is what uh, Cyclops will answer. Ford Kuga, Series TV, Titanium, trim level. Right. And so it never said cat or milk and <laughs> banana in it? 
Uh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> fortunately, fortunately, fortunately yeah. yes. <laughs> so yeah, so this is a, this is an example how powerful an AI can be. What, okay. what if yeah? what if I took another photo of another vehicle and I fused the two together? Okay, this is what AI still dumb. Right. <laughs> You combine the two together, it will collect all the evidence. It will try to find the closest match to all of this evidence. And give us a new name, a new vehicle, and, yeah. <laughs> and oh, no, not new name, but it will pick the closest one I can think of. Got it. And that could be yeah. pretty cool. If you're having a baby, you could actually have all these new names combined together via AI. Okay. Yeah. A whole new car manufacturer, you know, by blending of two vehicles. Yep, yep, yep. That would be fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Cool. So tell us a bit more about um, uh, the architecture. We got, let's, let's have a look at the slide. Oh, what does it look like? Slides? If you go to the uh, next. Oh, okay, so this is actually the the experience that uh, so this I was is you were telling us about okay, before. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about that for a second. Yeah. You see that? There are like a many a many stop uh, steps there that yep. you have to select all the make model body series awesome. of the vehicle. Yep. If you go next, this is what happened after Cyclops. Nice. Take a Just picture. Three slides. Are we right? Is it this? <laughs> yes. Yep. Done. Otherwise, go forward. Yeah. Nice. I think we have a question. That's simple. We do have a question. Yeah. Well, we also had this thrown at me. This is a oh. an award that generally yes. you should be having pinned wow. on your shirt. This yes. is the medallion yeah. that we give to uh one of our sixty odd. Uh, in a community heroes yep, and uh, yep. being an AI one, so yeah, yep. uh, we had somebody on earlier. I, uh, Aileen was on earlier, and uh, she had it around her neck, almost like a wrapper. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> trust me, it's quite heavy. It's like a half kilo, maybe. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was, I was hoping that was pure gold, but I'm not sure it is. I very so. frugal. It's not an Olympic medal. <laughs> <Yeah. No. laughs> Fabulous. All right, so um, tell us a bit about um, uh, the languages that you guys use to program and build your platform. Okay, so with Cyclops, right? We actually built, uh, built this using uh, Deep Learning AME. It's about like uh, three years ago. Uh, back then, there is no tools like SageMaker. Right? Uh -huh. And then just, just like uh, recently, about like a few months ago, we also deployed another AI technology. This is something I actually want to share. Yeah? Uh -huh. Because us. we're using SageMaker this time to actually build this Fantastic. AI tech. Okay. Yeah? And we actually quite surprised. It only took us like three, month, uh, sorry, three weeks to actually complete the model. For those viewers who three don't weeks. know what SageMaker is, can you give them a rundown? Yeah, exactly. So the AWS SageMaker is a tool uh, for anyone who just simply pass in your uh, training set for your AI. Yeah? yeah. You press the button, it will train it, and it will automatically build the model. Based on a, a number of built-in algorithms exactly. for different types of business yes. cases. Like, so, make me an image classifier. I don't know AI or ML stuff, but if I say, here's my images, uh, these are my Ford Focus, these are my Mazda M3s, these are my Audi A6s, yep. go, it can make me a classifier. Yes. Yes, yes. exactly. And then out of those three weeks, you're probably surprised, two and a half weeks spent collecting the data. That's right. Collecting the images. So how much time did you actually spend training the model? If three it's days. taken you more time three to get days. the data. Three, three days. Three days to train and refine, right, and tune the hyperparameters. Exactly. And then wait a second. By a student. By a, a tech student. Graduate. Yes. Wow. Who wow. just joined our team. That's how amazing it is. Nice. In comparison what? with Cyclops, it took, awesome. us, it took us six months to build. Right. So let's, let's, yep. get, let's get back a step here. I'm really curious. So if a graduate can do this with no prior experience in AI and ML, what are you guys seeing at car sales in terms of you know, getting up to speed in becoming, you know, uh, I guess, you know, AI developers? Okay, so three years ago, it was quite tough to be uh -huh. an AI developer. At car sales, yeah. we care so much about cost, of course. Yes, cost. Yeah, and cost you know yourself. Aspect, yeah. Data scientist is like a unicorn. Yes. It's very hard yes. to find. Yeah. Very rare yeah. individuals in a while. Very uh -huh. expensive. And then another issue as well, once if you have a, a higher data scientist, you still need to hire an, an engineer to actually be able to productionize the model. Yeah. So that's the issue, uh, issue here. So at Car Sales, our strategy is we convert our existing software developer into a data scientist. Fantastic. How? Using tools like SageMaker. Mm -hmm. And okay. we've proven it, proven it already. Yeah? It can be done within just three weeks. So, so, you, so you reckon you can take a software developer, even a graduate, and in three weeks turn them into a quasi data scientist, exactly. AI and ML yes. developer? Yes, and according to our experience, eight to ten, uh, eight out of, out of, out of ten, uh -huh. you can just sol solve the business problem using tools like SageMaker. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That's how powerful that's, that's it is. That's a great testament. Exactly, and it is this year. I don't know what happened five years from now. Right? <laughs> that's right. right. Yeah. Well, it is yeah, developer fun. day today at the Sydney Summit, so I hope you guys are paying attention. If we can convert a brand new graduate in a matter of weeks mm. to be a, a highly sought after, does that mean you got to pay him more? Yes. Wow. Well, uh, Did you pay him more? Yes. <laughs> I think we should. And 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 be. Oh, 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 oh. oh. It's incoming. It's coming. And another thing I, w I would like to mention as well. Yeah. Uh, we're actually organizing, as a community hero, we're organizing a community day. Okay. It's going to be on the 30th of uh, August, yeah. which is this one here. The yeah. one in Melbourne? Yep, the one yeah. in Melbourne. It's going to be in Melbourne. So make sure that you guys all attend. 
It's gonna be like a, you know the Jeff Park, of course everybody knows Jeff Park. Yeah, yeah. Everyone knows and his purple hair. Right. Oh yeah, his purple hair. Yeah. And there'll be a lot of uh, a good speakers as well coming. So please make sure that you guys coming. Yeah. Fantastic. So just finally before we wrap it up. Yeah, um, we have questions. Couple of oh, we have questions. Oh, yeah. I, I, oh, really? I'm not seeing it on my screen. So, uh, okay. Uh, uh, they, they do have a question for you though. And that yes. is, in terms of um, what advice would you give to other organizations who would like to take that, that leap of faith into build, becoming an AI and ML organization, what advice would you give them? Obviously, you started your journey many years earlier, but you said recently you can do it quicker. Any quick, snappy advice? Sure, sure. So the first thing that you should have in mind, not to hire data scientists. What you should do first, invest in your own people, yeah? and then you, uh, you, you find a developer who's passionate enough about uh, software development and learning and AI. Utilize, a, uh, utilize tools like SageMaker, yeah? that's uh, gonna help you a lot. Yeah? Okay. And then you, you go to a conference, meet up, yeah? make sure you learn from each other, from, from other people who has done it. Yeah? It actually will be beneficial a lot. So with that in mind, yeah, that, that, that won't be an issue. Yeah? Great. So, so we, I believe that everybody can learn. Yep. Perfect. Great. Now, yep. actually, as, as, as you were answering, uh, some questions actually came through. So, uh, Philippe, um, Calvaris in 1982, does car sales use more than one region? Are you guys inside just in Sydney or are you globally distributed? Okay, so, so we have presence in like a South, uh, South Korea, Chile, Argentina, Mexico, Malaysia. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, and we, we do, we're not just like own, own car sales, we also have bike, boat, and, and caravan yeah. truck, any kinds with wheels mm -hmm. yeah, on it. But are you yeah, running? So I think it's in our head region. Oh, sorry, 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 yeah. sorry, 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 yeah. question. Yeah. Uh, we, we deploy everywhere, not just in Australia. Yeah. Got because it. a lot of cool technology come in uh, 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 America first. Yes. Yeah? So we're using Got that. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I guess we get a, we have a global footprint which hopefully helps you go global, right? Yes, fantastic. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, any other questions? No, nothing seems to pick up on the screen. I have a question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we talked about the speed improvement you had by uh -huh. using so tools like SageMaker to yes. take your training time down. What about cost savings? Uh, were you able to leverage the fact that, like my favorite feature about SageMaker is you can do parallel training on demand. You don't have to manage any of the boxes with all those GPUs attached or anything like that. Do you have any sense of how much money you were able to save by not having to invest in that hardware yourself? Of course, yeah. well, because share. most of the time when you say like you, you train an AI model, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, you need to actually uh, you, you train for like a few weeks. Yep. Once it stops, what are you gonna do with the hardware? Exactly. If you have the hardware, yeah, you leave it running there for like a, another like two months until your next AI project comes along. Right, yeah. it's wasting You're money. wasting a lot of resources. Capital expense. Yeah. of course, just yeah. sitting there. So, so you will save. So we have one more question oh, that's yes. coming in from the online community. Skull Crusher for life. Yeah, Thank you for uh, your question. Ooh, okay. uh, so yeah. he, he wants to know whether you've uh, thought of or even have built a model that's going to help you determine the vehicle condition. Like new, Jeez. old, used, like don't buy, it'll up. kill you. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You should work for castles. It's actually in our roadmap. Get the job going. <laughs> All right. Yep. It's actually, uh, uh, actually a project in our roadmap that we're working on at the moment. But I cannot actually say too much because it's hush hush. Understand. It's a yes. good idea. Mm. All right. Well, actually, it sounds like you got a job going. All right. Well, guys, yes. listen. Uh, we got to wrap it up. Thank you, Gus, for joining us. Guys, thanks for being part of the thanks. show. Uh, guys, hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. We got a whole lot more coming your way. Uh, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back briefly. See you soon. <laughs>